Hey guys, we are going to talk today about the order of operations, why it's a thing, and why it's a big deal. Okay, so basically, I've got four problems here, but they're all the same, right? So imagine for a second that a teacher gave this problem to four of her students, and they each came back with a different answer. Okay, so she calls them up one at a time. She's like, okay, you need to show me how you got this answer. Okay, so the first kid, he's like, well, I just did like reading. I went from left to right, okay? So he did 24 minus four, got 20, and kept working his way down, going left to right. So he divided next, and then he added and got 20 times five, which is 100, right? And she was like, okay, okay, I see what you did there. And then the second kid, she's like, okay, show me how you got your answer. So he says, okay, well, I subtracted first. Okay, got 20 divided by 2 plus 10 times 5. Okay, and he's like, and then I didn't want to divide yet, so I added. Okay. So he got 20 divided by 12 times five. And he's like, then I decided I should probably divide. So he stuck that in his calculator and got 1.6 repeating. 1.66666 kept going times five. He's like, then I multiplied those and I got 8.3 repeating. And she's like, okay. I see what you did there. And then she calls up the next kid and says, how did you get your answer? And he says, well, I went right to left. So he's like, I got 10 times five is 50. And then I'm writing backwards. This is weird. Okay. And he's like, so then I just kept going right to left. Okay. Got 52. Okay, you're probably getting what we're doing here. So then he divided. So he's like 24 minus, this gives you an, an ugly decimal. So we're just going to write it as 4 over 52. Okay, and then when you simplify that, subtract and simplify, you get 23 and 12 thirteenths. So the teacher's like, okay, I gave you all the same problem. And we've gotten three different answers so far. So then she calls up the last kid, okay? And he's like, well, I used the order of operations, teacher. <laughs> Which is the correct way, okay? So, because you can do a problem a bunch of different ways, right? I've only done it three ways so far and gotten three different answers, and I definitely haven't done all the ways, okay? So, he follows the, the order of operations, okay? So in this one, we don't have any parentheses or exponents. So we're going to start with multiplication and division. And you go left to right. So this kid did the division first. We got 24 minus 2 plus 10 times 5. Then did the multiplication. Okay. 24 minus 2. This got 50. Okay. And then we do addition and subtraction left to right. So he did 24 minus 2. Got 22 plus 50, and then added those, and got 72, okay? So, this is why we have the order of operations, okay? Because if we don't all follow the same order, we get lots of different answers. So, just for clarification, <laughs> these ones were not correct. And you can imagine, as our equations... Um, get more complicated with parentheses and exponents and fractions and all the things, it gets even more and more important that we all follow the same way. Okay. So that is the order of operations. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. Bye.